Hi, welcome to another week of Art Masterpiece. So this week we're going to be talking about Paul Gauguin, um, who was born in 1848 and died in 1903. The work we're talking about is When Will You Marry or When Do You Marry? So hopefully the teacher's already passed that uh, print around a little bit so you guys can take a good look at this print and get some ideas on him and his works. This is one of his earlier works. Um, as you can tell, he did a lot of just impressionistic painting. Nothing was exactly as it should be, just his impression of what he thought it was. This is another one of the Tahitian women that he actually painted. And you can see they're very similar to the print that you guys have in class. Moving on to the print that you guys are seeing before you. So Paul Gauguin, uh, moved to Tahiti in 1891. Um, he was tired of civilization and he was looking for a more primitive and romantic um, world. And when he got there, he realized that most of them had already been westernized. So it wasn't exactly the ideal world that he was going to. He was really hoping for a native land where he could develop his artistic um, self in a land that's never been explored before. Unfortunately, um, the colonists were already there, and therefore, um, you'll see in this painting that she looks like she's wearing more of a Western type of outfit versus the one in front. So I'm gonna have your teacher um, pause here in a second. I want you guys to take a look at this painting, see what you see in it, uh, get some ideas going on who you think these women are, who do you think's gonna be getting married, because they're asking about when do you get married? So is it this one that's going to be getting married? This one's getting married? Um, and then take a look in the background. What draws your attention to this painting? Where do your eyes go? What, what brings your attention to where? Look at the colors and get your feeling for these two women. Okay, so hopefully you guys got some good insights on there. I'm going to give you a little more background on Paul Gauguin and then we'll get into different elements of this painting. So Paul Gauguin, he was actually, um, didn't become a painter full time until he was almost 36 years old. Before that he was a stockbroker and he did other things, but he wasn't actually a full time painter like a lot of our other artists that we showcase until he was much older. Um, 36 is pretty old for um, an artist to get going and most of our other artists that we talk about, they start in their early teens, um, even in childhood. So. He did get started a lot, a lot younger, but this painting right here was actually the third highest painting, um, brought in the third amount of money, third most amount of money in all of history when it brought in $250 million, um, when it sold for $250 million. So it's pretty interesting, uh, that painting. So let's talk about the women. So we have the woman in the front who is has a flower in her left ear, which signifies that she's available, um, that she doesn't have a boyfriend, she's not married, etc. And then we have the woman in the background. Now, some people say that that's her mother, and her mother is looking over on her or looking for her, and she's pointing her finger, this hand right here. He's very, his hands and his feet aren't the prettiest things in his paintings. He's always kind of out of proportion with his painting, with his hands and his, his, uh, his feet completely. And you'll see that they're sitting very awkwardly. Like nobody sits with their arm bent backwards, with the wrist backwards. And you'll see that she doesn't look like she's very comfortable in her, in her pose as well. Um, her figures are a lot more pronounced than the one in the front. So it brings a little more significance Sorry about that, technical malfunction. <laughs> Moving on to the painting. So if you'll notice the bright colors in the front are gonna bring your attention a lot more up into the frontal area versus the pale colors that he's using in the background. So the landscape is all done with the mute colors with the um, pale yellows and the pale blues and the pale greens. So nothing's gonna draw your attention to the back of the painting like it is up here with the reds and the oranges and the bright colors that you'll see down here. 
Um, you'll see a couple workers up towards the top of the, the painting in here. And then you'll also notice down on the bottom corner of the painting on the right hand side, which he did a lot, was in French, he wrote um, the title of the painting, which was when do you marry or when will you marry, depending on the um, translation or depending on who's translating that this phrase right here. He actually wrote it in Tahitian. Sorry, it was Tahitian that he wrote it in. Um, you'll notice that she looks a little more subdued than the one in the background. This lady right here, she looks a lot more formative than the one in the front. So. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this painting, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.